I played the tuba growing up. I didn't, that's I didn't way, do chorus. Uh, yeah, it's he, way better at that. He was smart enough not to go into chorus and go into band, put it that way. But um, <laughs> you know, the, the fact that uh, I, you know, it was funny because um, <clears throat> I had the radio on in in RP1, the car radio. <laughs> What, what was Roger's reaction when he heard me sing I'm, I'm that? Getting to that? Okay. I'm getting to that. <laughs> and the car radio wasn't very good as far as the reception in there. And uh, he starts singing and he goes, What is he saying? What is that? <laughs> I'm like, He's singing something, Roger. I'm, I'm not sure what it is yet. I just turned it off. And uh, so I don't, I don't think he's got the whole gist of what went on there um, because he was pretty confused about what he was saying or singing. Or, he's like, that was he doing? <laughs> like he's just being Austin. Austin, but did that was that for one not to be sappy? Was that coming from the heart? I mean, what what made you burst into song? I mean, that's what I think of when I come to this place. Honestly, yeah. that song. There's nothing. There's nothing else. Maybe the end of Star Wars Episode Three, but other than that, nothing <laughs> else gives me goosebumps more than when they sing "Back Home Again" at the Indy 500. Um, I. I I don't know. I, I I know I was here for the last time that Jim Neighbors sang the song and yeah. the reception this place got. And obviously, I'm sure I probably didn't do it justice, but um, no, none, nonetheless, I guess I was surprised that I remembered all the words today, especially with everything else that was flowing through my brain and um, the emotions I had. But um, no, it was it was pretty cool. I, I at least got the entertainment value from my guys. <laughs> <laughs>